The Story of the Monkey King Once upon a time in a mango grove on the bank of a large river, there lived a troop of monkeys. One day, the king of the monkeys called for a meeting. He said, My dear monkeys, a human town has come up not far from here. They have never tasted mangoes before now. If they do, they will come and take all our mangoes, and we will be in danger of starving. So the monkeys decided to pluck all the fruit from the branches that spread over the river, so that no mango could fall and float into the town. But one mango did fall into the water. It floated towards the town and got caught in a fisherman's net. When the fisherman saw the strange fruit, he immediately took it to his king. The king looked at the fruit and called for his advisers. What is this fruit? he asked. Is it good to eat? Oh, yes, your majesty, it is good to eat. That is a mango, and it grows not far from here, one of his advisers said. Hearing this, the king cut the mango and ate it. The mango was so juicy and delicious that the king decided to set out to find the tree it came from. Reaching the mango grove, the king ordered his men to gather all the fruits they could. But just then, the monkey king and his troop, who were hiding up in the mango trees, made such a noise in an effort to frighten them away that the king ordered his archers to shoot them all down. The monkey king saw the archers and called to his troop to escape. Hurry! We are in danger! Everybody run! Follow me! The monkey king jumped to a tree branch that stretched over the river and grabbed the branch of another tree on the other side. He then called to the others, saying, Come, monkeys, climb on my back and cross to the other side of the river. The monkeys did as they were told, and soon the whole troop was safe. But... Being in that position, the monkey king had made himself an easy target for the archers who pointed their arrows towards him. When suddenly the king said, Don't shoot! Don't shoot! He had seen how the brave monkey king had risked his life to save his own kind, and he turned to him and asked, Why did you make a bridge out of your own body, knowing that you might be caught? The monkey king smiled wisely and replied, My monkeys are safe now. That is all that matters. If you want to be a good king, it is your duty to always put your people first. The king's eyes filled with tears as he turned to speak to his soldiers. This monkey has shown me how to be a real king, he declared. Let the monkeys have these mango trees and live peacefully with us from now on. And so the king returned to his palace, and thereafter he became a noble, just, and beloved king.